Tomorrow, people who love Colleen Ritzer will tell the court what they lost when the Danvers teacher was murdered as the judge prepares to sentence the former student who killed her. This surveillance video haunting captures Ritzer's final moments and puts Chisholm, who stayed after school that day, at the murder scene. Julie Lonchek is live outside the courthouse in Salem where that hearing will be held. Julie. Liam, tomorrow is sure to be a very long day with hours of victim impact statements lined up, something the defense tried to prevent today. Convicted murderer Philip Chisholm wasn't in court Thursday on the eve of his sentencing, but his victim's parents were, as they had been each and every day of the trial. Today, Colleen Ritzer's parents listened as Chisholm's attorneys argued a last minute motion asking the judge to limit who can give victim impact statements at sentencing Friday. Prosecutors challenged the motion. As Mrs. Ritzer said to me, this is not a family that has any desire to turn this into a circus. Um, on the contrary, the judge decided all will be heard. A victim impact statement for uh, family, for friends. Um, Co-workers are important in, in and of themselves. A murder conviction carries life behind bars with a chance for parole because Chisholm, now 17, was only 14, a juvenile, when he killed and raped his math teacher inside a Danvers High School bathroom more than two years ago. Prosecutors recommend Chisholm be eligible for parole in 50 years. The defense, just 26. When Colleen's family spoke publicly for the first time following the verdict, it was abundantly clear their sentence will have no end. There remains a tremendous and painful absence in our lives, one that, sadly, can never be replaced. Our family enters a new phase in our lives, one that we have no choice but to begin. The judge says he hopes to hand down his sentence by the end of the day on Friday, but admits his decision could come on Monday. In Salem, Julie Lonchek, WBZ News.